somewhere in between hanging out the washing, taking out the garbage, and discovering that the dishwasher had yet again been loaded in a suboptimal manner, I was struck by a powerful wave of nostalgia. So to start off, to play this, all you have to do is start off with an E flat here. So my thumb is on the E flat, my finger is on the G, the other finger is on the B flat just here, and on the bass end, I've just got one finger on the E flat just here, and push all four notes together. Okay, and then it's a little movement, your thumb and your little finger uh, your bass finger first, down onto the D, and for the other fingers we're moving to the F, and I'm using my little finger up here on the C. Okay, and what we're going to do is play those all together, so the D, another D, F, and a C, and then I'm going to move little finger onto the B flat again, like this, watch. So very simple movement there, but what this is all about, of course, what's making it sound like that glorious riff from the 90s, is the fact that I've set up the keyboard just right to play this. I've made my own sounds in here on the uh, Yamaha PSR SX900. Uh, I've gone in and I've made my own two custom voices here called Born Slippy and Born Slippy Pad. Uh, and I've set the uh, surprisingly deep um, voice editing and the voice setting that we've got in here. We've got insert effects as well, which I've played with and tweaked with to the nth degree to get just like the famous recording, because once I heard it, uh, I absolutely had to copy it. And I'm running three at the same time. So if I isolate them here, I've got just the keyboard on its own. the one that's giving that slight staccato delay effect. Uh, I then realized I need a bit of a pad in there, so let me just isolate voice number two so we can hear what the pad is like. It's a slightly uh, breathy, um, flangey sound to it. And then finally, I've got one of the pre-built um, pads in here called Dark Fact Saw, which adds an extra layer like this. And I'm combining all three. So my registration setting um, is all three voices together, but it has the insert effects and that tempo delay set at a specific value um, as well. And that gives us this effect, all three together. So this effect, this registration I've made, and it's called Born Slippy, it will work on Yamaha PSR SX900, PSR SX700, also Yamaha Genos 1 and Genos 2. So if you want a copy of it to play around with, uh, to go and relive the, uh, the 90s at home on your own machine, then just email me and I can send it to you uh, free of charge and you can just enjoy it at home because that's what it's all about, isn't it? Just enjoying the nostalgia and having fun with these keyboards. I hope that was interesting for you. 
Take care, everybody. See you next time.